Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel and it's always a pleasure to put out content out here for you guys to actually watch and learn from because I aim at adding value to your lives or to your life, you that's watching this video. So this video is a special edition to commemorate the independence of Nigeria and I'm simply talking about how one man who used to be dubbed the most wicked man on the planet affects Nigeria till this day. <clears throat> Most of us are not aware of this fact, but it's just what it is. And who is this person I'm talking about? I'm talking about Alistair Crowley. Yes, it is generally agreed, although it is not generally accepted that um, both Lord Lugard and Flora Shaw were avid followers of Alistair Crowley who um, practiced all ma manner of um, satanic ritual and black arts at the time. Lord Lugard was a high priest of the Freemasons and also he and Flora Shaw were, were real, real, real dedicated um, satanist and followers, like I've mentioned earlier, of Alistair Crowley himself. Now, who was Alistair Crowley? Alistair Crowley was a musician. He was, he was a poet. He was a magician as well. He practiced a lot of dark arts. Alistair Crowley was born into a Christian family. His, his, his parents never let him um, play with other kids and he was often bullied in school and thereby make, making him have like a very introverted, introverted upbringing until when he was, um, I think, after his, his dad died, he moved to live with his uncle in the countryside for some time because he was sick to the point of death and his uncle came and said um, the only thing that could help him was maybe changing environment and truthfully as soon as Alistair um, changed his environment things became different for, for him. He started seeing mountains, he started seeing um, life like um, vegetations, you know, plants, nature generally because his uncle lived at the countryside. So Alistair got exposed to a different kind of lifestyle and he he started going, uh, he got this virgin at that age and his life totally changed and then he realized how much he had missed all through those years where he was always going to church and <laughs> kind of like changed his mindset. So by the time he went back to live with his parents, by then his dad had passed away and he started exhibiting this um, life that he had learned. His mother told him he was the Antichrist and he was um, going to bring the reign of Satan. And Alistair, very weird, found this very, very amusing to himself. You know, this is just a brief um, story of Alistair Crowley. I'll make a different video on Alistair Crowley. But this video, I'm talking about how this man, Alistair Crowley, affects Nigeria till this day. So, like I stated earlier, Flora Shaw and um, Frederick Lord Dugard were disciples of this man, Satanist and Freemasons. So the name Nigeria itself, Niger era, look it up, means era of darkness in Latin. You know, so if a country being named after darkness, what do you expect from the country as a whole moving forward? A lot of other African countries changed their names after um, they were granted independence, but Nigeria's own case is an exception. Countries like Ghana. Ghana used to be called Gold Coast. And then they changed their name to Ghana. Okay. So if we put all these things into, um, into consideration that up to this very day, Nigeria cannot boast of steady supply of electricity it actually literally means this is an area of darkness. So if a man like Alistair Crowley, who was a Satanist and dubbed the most wicked man of his century, had followers that were the founding fathers. Remember I was so I don't look at that 
amalgamated Nigeria and his wife Flora Shaw named Nigeria. So you can see why we're in, <laughs> we're joining this political soup in this country, spiritual and political soup. So it's important, this is an important fact that most citizens of Nigeria came out to celebrate independence yesterday don't even know about because I don't see what you're celebrating in the independence because what are you independent of actually in the real sense because this era that we are in Nigeria what is being practiced is neo-colonialism because we are solely dependent on all these foreign countries up till tomorrow because I'm very certain of that because Nigeria there are a lot of things Nigeria cannot boast of to this day. Nigeria celebrated 61 years of independence. Still, you can't boast of good road networks, clean water. I've mentioned electricity before, but it cannot be over, over, overemphasized or overflow. You can't guarantee your security in Nigeria. So what is the independence all about? You know, because this this um, this influence that this darkness influence has a way of also affecting the people who have led Nigeria all through these years, and they don't even want to see the light. I mean, we've seen the light in other countries, but they would prefer people in this country remain in darkness and keep information away from you. So, in my own suggestion. One of the steps, one of the steps of many steps to take towards making this quote unquote nation or zoo a greater place to be in is by changing his name. But at this point, <laughs> name changing is not even enough because the system is broken. It is really, really damaged. Like it has gotten to that point where cancer has eaten deep, the cancer of corruption, the cancer of nepotism, and you know this this dark this dark cloud that follows Nigeria wherever it is. Because if you look at it, every Nigerian is is a, 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 has the potential to be a great person outside Nigeria. But while you're in Nigeria, that darkness kind of like kills your dreams. Just to, um, just look at Nigeria like planet Krypton. Yes, Krypton, where Superman comes from. Everybody in Krypton is normal. But as soon as you leave Krypton and go to Earth and you experience the sun from the Earth, you become a superhero. That's what Nigerians are like. While they are excuse me, while they are in Nigeria, they are just normal people. Because the government always has a way of killing your dreams. They, they don't want the youth to to have a better future because if you if you if you really analyze it right from um, when I was a kid, I've always been hearing <laughs> children of the future of tomorrow or tomorrow's leaders, and you still see that even the tomorrow that is today, we still have the same people that have been leading right from when I was a kid till now, and they still hope to keep leading. So in reality. I don't see where it is headed. So, with a country that has a foundation rooted in Satanism, Luciferianism, darkness, what do you expect from a country except turmoil and suffering? Since the um, the founding fathers don't even have the fear of God, or they don't even acknowledge God the Father, so what do we really expect? You know the saying where um, they say those who do not know their history are doomed to repeat it. Don't repeat it. That is exactly what it is because when we don't know the history of where we are coming from as a nation or as a people, it has a very negative way or negative impact on us, whether we like it or not. So I took my time out. This is my own way of marking the independence of a nation, quote unquote, Nigeria, to put out this video and bring this um, 
reality into light because a lot of people don't even know about this. And if just to add to it, the Lugan and Flora Shaw didn't have children of their own, how they were married. What kept them together was mysticism, um, their satanism, and spiritual things, you know. And compare Nigeria and Sudan, <laughs> Sudan also has an influence, uh, Alistair Crowley also has an influence on Sudan also. And as we all know, Sudan has been fighting wars and they have broken into two parts. And this is almost the story of Nigeria right here. So it is not a surprise why Nigeria experiences what we experience today. So on that note, it's very important to know where you're coming from so you can know where you're heading to, both as citizens and as individuals of this nation. So you must know your roots and know who you're rooting for. With that being said, <laughs> Happy Independence Day. If I may say that. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, share this video. A lot of people need to know what it's like. Or a lot of people need to have a knowledge of where they are coming from as a nation. So you don't get food over and over and over and over again because it might take a lot more than prayers to liberate this country we might need to actually take it out to the streets if we have to catch you in the next video peace